Hey everyone, Josh with Alliance. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, with the warmer summer months approaching us, we're going to be going over the two cooling systems on your truck and pump to make sure they're working effectively as they should. So we're going to start on our pump here at our oil, oil cooling fan. Um, first of all, you want to start off, make sure that this is all clean and free of debris and anything like that. Um, and a quick tip on this as well is that these oil cooler fans actually are the only circuit on our pump that work backwards to what you would think. So they require power to slow the fan down. And that's a fail-safe mechanism in case you have a fuse blow, electrical failure, anything like that to make sure your oil does not become too hot and outside of that uh, allowable working range. Um, so, a few things you could check um, if you're having issues with it are your 55 degree sensor, um, your fuse in the control panel, which we'll go to next. Um, and another good idea if you're going to a job site and the weather is already quite warm outside is to just actually flip your uh, fan on from the rear panel and just have it on manually the whole time just to make sure your oil is within that proper working range. Uh, so let's go over to the control panel, show you the fuse location for it. Okay, so the fuse for your oil cooling fan circuit gets power from 5F94, which is a 10 amp fuse right here, leaves through A20 and goes to your 5K40 relay. So if you're having issues with your fan stuck on high, first of all, you want to make sure that your switch is not on on the rear panel. The next place you can come look is check your 5F94 fuse and you can check your 5K40 relay as well. Okay, so next we're going to check the cooling system on the truck. As you can see, we're working on a Mac Terra Pro today, so we'll go ahead and tilt the cab on that one. So anytime before you tilt the cab, you want to make sure there's no debris in there, make sure your fire extinguisher is tight and down, and if you are driving a manual, you want to make sure that your shifter is in a good position where it will not strike as you lift the cab. So we'll grab the pole from inside, flip this switch forward, and begin tilting the cab. And at this point, because this is a manual transmission, I'm just going to go make sure that that shifter is not going to hit anything. Okay, and we'll start on the driver's side of the truck. Okay, so on a Mac Terra Pro, your coolant reservoir is on the driver's side of the, of the truck. If you look up there, you can see your cold full and cold maximum lines. You want to make sure that you're topped off on all your coolant there. Next, after we check our coolant level, we're going to take a look at our engine fan here. Make sure we have good belt tension on our belt right there. Uh, make sure the fan is not full of debris or anything like that. Fan blade's not cracked or anything. The shroud's nice and tight. And from the front of the truck, might be hard to see with the cab tilted. You want to make sure that the intercooler and the radiator and everything like that is clean and free of debris. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.